This video covers the advanced features of the Sound Slice Sync Point Editor. We'll be going over tricks to save you time when making slices, as well as building on the concepts explained in our basics video. We recommend that you watch that first. Here's the first big time saver. If your music has a perfectly consistent tempo, like if it was recorded to a metronome, then you don't need to manually create each sync point. Instead, just mark the beginning and the end, and we'll divide the space evenly. When you add the sync point to the end, it'll have a 2 in it, because it's only the second sync point. Here's the trick, double click that sync point and enter any number. You'll see sync points instantly generate between. These are colored light gray, so you know that they were made by magic. Of course, this assumes you know the exact number of bars in your music. If you don't know that, just type end and we'll automatically figure it out by counting the measures. If you don't like these automatic sync points and want to get rid of them, rather than deleting one by one, you can start fresh by selecting clear sync points from the more menu. Sometimes you might have a long video and you're really only interested in notating a two bar lick that's in the middle. That's where cropping comes in. With or without your sync points made, click crop above the sync point editor. Two orange handles will appear and these will do just what you think they will. Clicking and dragging either end will change where the recording stops and starts. Any part of the recording that's cut out will be hidden. In our basics video, we covered how to sync guide notes in a slice where one instrument plays a rubato passage. But what about a similar situation with many instruments, like in this lyrical orchestral selection? Syncing guide notes in the top staff won't necessarily help with the others. To make sure that all freely played beats line up with a recording, we let you sync the guide notes from each voice and staff independently. To see the rhythms for the next voice or staff, click Toggle Notes from the More menu. You can click and drag these just like you'd expect. In addition to music for ensembles, this is very useful for chordal instruments that use multiple voices, like the piano or the guitar. If you'd like to show different recordings for the same piece of notation, you don't need to make a separate slice for each one. Instead, you can add as many recordings as you'd like to the same slice. Click Add a Recording down in the Recordings menu. Here you can upload or link to other performances and create unique sync points for each one. Here's a Bach piece, for example, with two recordings of performers on different instruments interpreting the same work. If the additional recordings you'd like to make are from the same performance, like a video with different camera angles or a unique audio mix like a backing track, then sync points are likely the same or very close across recordings. You won't need to enter them manually for each one. We've made it easy to import and export sync points to other recordings. With the sync points all set in one recording, switch to another. From the More menu, select Import Sync Points and choose the primary recording that's already been synced. Like magic, these existing sync points will be imported. Of course, sometimes the imported sync points don't line up exactly right. One common situation where that happens is when recordings don't have the same amount of lead-in time before the music starts. Simply select Drag All to nudge the sync points to the right spot, and you're golden. There are many sync point features to take advantage of, and like any new scale, lick, or technique, the best way to learn is simply to try them out, put them to use. That's it for now, and happy slicing!